guys, my name is Marie and well, I love Japan. I have been loving Japan as long as I remember myself. I remember the first time I told my parents, Hey mom, I want to go to Japan it was around primary school when I was five or six years old. I even don't remember the reason for that. I think I thought some news about Japan having a Pokemon store full of Pokemon goods and plushies and I extremely loved this anime and games at that time. So I wanted to get myself some Pokemon plushies and ask my parents to go to Japan when I was six. Of course, I was rejected. So the reason for the rejection was my mother telling me, you know, in Japan they all speak Japanese. They won't understand anything you are telling them and you want to be able to ask for any directions and you will get lost and die. So the little me was afraid and I postponed my dream for several years. So around middle school the dream appeared again. Well, it didn't really went anyway all the time. But I came to my parents when I was around 11 or 12 and said, hey mom and dad, I want to go to Japan so much. In fact, I was repeating that for every New Year, birthday, Christmas or any other holiday you children usually ask for a present. But the next reason my mom rejected me was, you know, in Japan they all eat like rice and fish and you don't eat rice and fish and you won't be able to eat anything and you will starve and die. Uh, well, that was true. At that time, I hated rice, I hated fish, but I, my dream to go to Japan was that big and that strong. I started to like Japanese cuisine, I started to learn something about it, and in several years, I came to my parents again and said, Hey, mom, you know, I can eat rice and fish, I won't starve, can I go to Japan? I was around 14 or 15 at that time, and so my mom told me, well, it's true that you know English, but all people in Japan speak Japanese and you won't be able to read any directions and you won't be even able to ask where the toilet is and you will get lost and die. And well, that was really a point because I read a lot of articles that Japanese people don't really know English. So I didn't give up. I started learning Japanese. When I was 15 or so, I learned it with tutor, I learned it by myself, I learned it in language schools, I learned it everywhere I could see any Japanese words, like watching anime, watching some movies. I wrote hieroglyphs, I did anything I could to somehow master the language, which was really hard. And when I was 16, I came to my parents and said, Mom and Dad, I want to go to Japan, you know, I know Japanese. And quite a basic level. I can ask for directions, I can eat sushi and everything they can offer me. I know a lot about Japanese culture, I know a lot about sightseeing sports, I want to go. I know everything, mom, dad, please let me go to Japan. And you know what they said? It's your graduation year, right? So you should concentrate on your exams. And if you manage to enter the university, you can go to Japan. So wasn't anything from the start about that, but I didn't give up. I started hard. I started everything I should to pass exams to enter my university. So right now I already graduated it. My major is Japanese language and literature and translation. And well, uh, on my first university holidays, winter holidays, I finally went to Japan because my parents had literally no reasons to reject my, like, all lifelong dream. In fact, I've been traveling quite a lot with my parents because my father has a job that allows him to travel and he uh, took me with himself to many countries throughout the world but not Japan. So, and the only place I wanted to go is, was Japan. So, right now I've been there five times and I'm leaving uh, to Japan the following week again. And I studied there in university, I studied there in language school, I worked there part-time and I plan to move to Japan in the nearly future, nearby future. So, well, I want to tell you about everything I learned about my experience. Well, if you wonder, are there any people who are telling about Japan on YouTube? Yes, there are a lot of them. 
are there any people that have lived in Japan and told about their experience about working in Sardines? Yes, there are a lot of such people. But are there any people that can tell you about my experience, that can tell you about things I uh, thought, things I saw, the, everything that happened in my life, and a lot of things happened in my life? No, there aren't any of them. So, um, I won't spoil the fun, I won't announce all the topics I can tell, but I will try to make it as interesting as I can. And by telling the facts about Japan, I won't tell like, you know, they're wearing kimono, eating sushi, and like, uh, Japan is a country and capitalist talk, you know, I won't tell you any things you can easily read on Wikipedia, but moreover, I will tell you things that I found out by myself only. So, I also am interested in a lot of um, both like modern culture, modern Japanese fashion, history literature, anything I know I would like to share with you and I would be really happy if you would like it. Okay, see you in my next videos. Bye!